community is still alive and well, but it's always misrepresented. Why? So, I suppose because there is a, I mean, you know, the UK is class ridden. You know, social class is one of the things that, you know, Britain is absolutely ridden with class inequality. Or riven. Riven, riven, ridden. Um, it, it's rotten. You know, the class system in Britain is absolutely rotten. Um, but it's something that we, we don't want to admit or talk about. If you live on a council estate or you've got a low-paid job or no job, you failed. So you must be a failure in all aspects of your life. But that isn't really the case, is it? Well, of course that's not the case. No. So, so why... People choose. That... I mean, I chose to live. I choose. Yeah. If I could live on a council estate today, because I live in London now, I'd love to bloody live on a council estate with people like me that I've kind of grown up with, that I know I know their stories and they know mine. And, you know, I, that that is what most... Isn't that what most of us want? Do you think that's why you're so passionate about this work and you write so much yeah. about it? Because you've seen first, up close and personal firsthand. Yeah, yeah yes, because, you know, I, I grew up on a council estate where I was loved and cared for and I've got great memories of. Actually, and I've always lived on a council estate until I moved to London. Um, and I still actually, you know, I hang around in London with the same people, you know, but from a different council estate because we've got a shared history, shared values. What you're saying is that the places that those people uh, can congregate in... Is, is being taken away from them. And that, for me, is, is violence. That, you know, gentrification. We often think about gentrification as the end product. So it's the thing that happened at the end. But actually, gentrification is the process. And gentrification is a violent, aggressive process that removes one group of people in favour of a better group of people. Now, when you say better, in inverted commas, yes. you mean people who are more economically able? We've had to narrate these stories that the people that live, that working class people are less than. We've narrated these stories over generations, actually over multiple generations, that they are failures, that they are less than. You know, anybody that needs to rely on the state is a burden. Um, you know, people that have got values of solidarity and collectivity are old-fashioned and belong in the past. But to follow your logic, um, there are a group of people who rely on the state 24-7. They're called bankers. Of course they are, so yes. So are they, are they a burden and a failure, yeah. or are they...? No, uh, they're wealth. They're, they're seen as wealth creators. Yeah, but... Uh, but, but again, so I'm not saying that these, these, are, these are narratives that have been created. Right. These are not, these are, this is not how it is. But how many of us now are sitting on any sort of media and we're saying this, we're pointing this out. We're saying that the people that are being supported at the moment the most by the state is actually the very wealthy.